I have been living in Harlem for the last four and a half years of my fiance. Oh, I can tell, it's a big black crap. No, that's, that's good. Uh, I love Harlem very much. It is funny though, as I mentioned, I joked about the whiteness. Yeah, my very white father, when he comes into Harlem, that's when I feel at my peak of whiteness. Because when he comes into town, he's very, very uncomfortable because he's out of his element. His element is Connecticut, also known as the Clorox state. Yeah, it's a very, very white place. So when my father comes into town, he doesn't, act, he doesn't say he's uncomfortable, but he acts like he's uncomfortable, you know? He reveals it through other sayings. I'll be uh, in a car with him, and we're looking to park someplace, and he's got his, he's got his little white guy radar off, and he's like, a lot of black people, a lot of black people. And he'll turn to me, and he has said in these words, is it safe for me to park here? I don't want to come back and find my hubcap stolen. Which is really unfair for at least two reasons. Reason the first, the market for stolen Subaru Outback rims is dead. If ever it was alive. Secondly, that's not unfair to characterize my neighborhood that way. I don't go back to Connecticut when I visit him and say, Dad, is it safe for me to hang out here? I don't want to go back to New York or Wall Street pussy. Any more so than currently, that is, you know? It's, it's, uh, you can only take so much. I, uh, I have no problems living in Harlem. Everyone, we're either ignored or, you know, it, it's fine. I will occasionally get things like, hey, white boy, and I can deal with that. I am a white boy, that's fine. I would get testy if they said, hey, white sir, because white sir is my father. 